All right, hello, Leo. Let's see. Um, you're pulling opposite to emotion for anger. I'm doing something a bit differently today. Pulling the DBT card beforehand. I meditated on your energy. I'm going to let you know what your intuitive messages are. So, Leo, I feel like you're in this space of um, having to protect your energy. All right. Having to protect your thoughts, really, is kind of what it feels. And maybe not in a way that's so alarming, but seven of swords, right? Keep your thoughts to yourself, strategize on your own, think about how you feel, and then, you know, figure out what's going to be best. And you don't necessarily need to tell someone every single move that you're getting ready to make. I feel like somebody wants that from you, though. And in addition to somebody wanting that from you, Leo, um... I'm hearing all jokes aside. All right. In addition, to, I don't understand what's funny, but in addition to somebody wanting that from you, Leo, it feels like they're provoking you to be more angry. Yes, I said more angry because you are upset about something. Okay. Whatever you're angry, upset about, I don't know. Um, it's not my business just as much as it's not this other person's business. It feels, I feel like you're just being guided to, um, choose nonviolence. I don't know what that is, what it is about that message today. All right. Gemini Sagittarius so far, but, um, now I'm getting it for you. Let's pull a card and see what's up. So opposite to emotion for anger. Anger causes us to go on the attack. Yeah. Resist this urge by avoiding the person you're angry with until your anger calms. Address the situation that feed anger only when you are in your wise mind. If you struggle with ongoing frustration and anger, counteract those emotions by choosing to be actively nice toward others. You're being called to activate your kindness. Okay. As you address your anger on your own. Um, I feel like, too, this is someone's confirmation that it's okay to do that. And first of all, it's okay to be angry because it's a natural emotion. What you do with that anger is your choice, okay? It's important to note that as well. I feel like it's important for the other person to know that, the cross-watcher, or if this is your energy and, and, you know, put yourself where you belong. But it's okay. The anger is, is, what, is what's natural to me. What I do with that, when I choose to do with that, I'm going to choose it, Okay. All right, so let's see. Yeah. I feel like that in and of itself is provoking more anger. <laughs> it's like, don't tell me how to be angry. Don't tell me how to show anger, okay? I mean, unless it's unhealthy for the other person, but if, okay. Anyway, moving on. All right, so yeah, address, navigate, process, and then activate kindness which is going to be the hard part. Yeah, exactly. The star card is here. You have the queen of cups. I don't know who this person is, Leo. Okay, that was weird. I don't know who this person is, but yeah, this Aquarius energy. So seven of swords, maybe you have a significant Aquarius placement um, here, but I feel like tend to your, your own emotional space, which is what this in reading in its entirety has seemed to be about. Yeah. Queen of Cups, Ace of Cups, and the Three of Cups. This may be a friendship for some of you. It, it doesn't mean you have to be mean to this person or, um, you know, outright. Yeah, see, here's the Page of Swords and the Six of Wands. There you are. All right. You get the gist. 